And no offense to any of the other companions, but like, uh, you know, Mel at her most grating moments, you like, you you want uh, <laughs> Janet to be back, like back in the TARDIS and just like, can, can we get like someone who, you know, we like in here, you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was brought. Again, I look at it, this is really almost the last time that the Doctor had not, well, I'll just say, non earthling companions mm. up until we get Nardo. Yeah. yeah. You had an Azalean, Azalean. You had a Trachonite. You had a Tron. Mm. You had a robot. And you had Tegan. <laughs> and Tegan. Uh, <laughs> and she was Australian, so Australian. that counts as being an alien. <laughs> <laughs> and, Perry was, and Perry was American. So technically, you didn't even have English companions. Might as well be alien. Yeah. Um, you had Ace. No, but that's the seven nine. But the thing is. Again, it was kind of refreshing that the doctor picked up people from other planets, other times. And we kind of lost that in the new series. Everybody was thin from England, pretty hmm. much, hmm. Uh, except Nardal. And I think that mm -hmm. that dynamic, and then again, we kind of saw the family with, you know, Jody and the fam. Um, it's starting to come back. But there was, again, very interesting time, you know, we know John Nathan Turner was experimenting a lot, killing off the Sonic, uh, bringing back some, you know, the Sea Devils and the Silurians, mm. you know, the mm. question marks and everything, but again, a dynamic of let's, let's mix up and let's have some dynamics. Mm. Uh, well, I just think that, um, as you just mentioned John Nathan Before we wrap up, we have a gentleman back there. Oh, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that by the time this string of companions got to Perry, I noticed particularly re-watching some of those episodes, as <coughs> other commentators have said, other science fiction, the problem is that the arguing got such that it stopped the story from moving forward. Hmm. It did end. So, we're, yes, these are interesting companions, but... By the time you get to Perry, it's it's hurting the show. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, <coughs> any, any other comments from the audience before we move on? Like, I mean, a, little, a little bit of arguing is okay, but when it turns into a full brawl and the TARDIS is over the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys know that Adric is uh, king of the spider people? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, that's, a, that's an actual thing that happened in the audio. Oh, it's, it seems almost can, like, I don't know, contemptuous, but uh, I don't know. Just a, man, Adric's weird. <laughs> Most punchable face, I will just end on that. But, um, but the, an Adric the, punching the, bag, yeah. it was so great on Amazon. <laughs> the shout out to Peter Davis's The Five Ish Doctor, when oh, Moffat yeah. was sleeping and having the. And who pops oh, up? Yeah. <laughs> Matthew. Yeah. Actually, in The Five Ish Doctors, yeah. Janet has my favorite thing. They're not going to call you. <laughs> like that. Uh, God, I just cracked up. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for coming, guys. I know that there are other things going on. Bye -bye.